What if I told you that a humble herdsman's son would rise to become one of the most influential Roman emperors of his time? That's the story of Galerius. In the heart of the ancient city of Serdica, now known as Sophia Bulgaria, around 260 years after the birth of Christ, a child was born. This child, Galerius, was destined to leave an indelible mark on the annals of history. Born to humble parents, his father a herdsman, Galerius grew up far from the grandeur of Rome, yet he was destined to rule it. The socio-political environment of the 4th century was a turbulent one. The Roman Empire, vast and mighty, was a hotbed of power struggles, political intrigue and military conquests. Amidst this chaos, Galerius found his calling. He rose through the ranks, demonstrating exceptional military prowess and a keen understanding of political maneuvering. Galerius's life was shaped by the reign of Diocletian, a period marked by political reform and military expansion. Under Diocletian's influence, Galerius climbed the ladder of power, his ambition and aptitude setting him apart. But it wasn't just his military victories that made him stand out. His strategic acumen and diplomatic skill played an equally significant role in his rise. Galerius was a man of complexities and contradictions. He was a ruthless warrior, yet a pragmatic leader. He was a man of humble origins, yet he ruled one of the most powerful empires in the world. He was a product of his time, yet he shaped the course of history in his own unique way. This is the enigma of Galerius, an emperor born in the rugged landscapes of Serdica, who would come to rule the cultured and sophisticated world of Rome. His story is one of ambition, power and legacy, intricately woven into the rich tapestry of Roman history. From humble beginnings, Galerius was destined for greatness, but how did he rise to such prominence? Stay tuned as we unravel the tale of this extraordinary ruler in the next chapter of our story. Galerius began his climb to power in the military under the watchful eye of Emperor Diocletian. Born in the city of Serdica, present-day Sophia, Bulgaria, around the year 260, Galerius was a man of humble origins, his journey towards grandeur began in the Roman military, where he showcased exceptional skill and courage. He rose through the ranks, earning the respect of his comrades and superiors alike. Among those who took note of his talents was Emperor Diocletian, who saw in Galerius a potential ally, a formidable force to be reckoned with. Diocletian, an astute observer of character, recognized that Galerius was more than just a skilled soldier. He saw a strategist, a leader, someone who could command not only troops but the respect and loyalty of those troops. Seeing the potential in Galerius, Diocletian took him under his wing. This mentorship was instrumental in shaping Galerius' future, providing him with the tools and knowledge necessary to navigate the complex world of Roman politics. In the year 299, Diocletian, in a groundbreaking move, appointed Galerius as Caesar. This title, once exclusive to the heirs of the emperor, was now bestowed upon Galerius, signifying his place as a chosen successor. This appointment was not without controversy. Many in the political circles questioned Diocletian's decision, citing Galerius's low birth and lack of noble lineage, but Diocletian stood firm, confident in his choice. Galerius's ascension didn't stop at Caesar. Six years later, in 305, Diocletian, in an unprecedented move, abdicated the throne, and Galerius was elevated to the position of Augustus, co-ruling the Eastern Roman Empire alongside Maximinus. His rise to power was swift, fueled by military prowess, political acumen, and the unwavering support of Diocletian. Galerius's journey to the top was not an easy one. It was fraught with obstacles and opposition, but through it all he remained steadfast, proving that he was not only a warrior, but a strategist, a diplomat and a leader. With shrewd military strategy and political savvy, Galerius was on his way to the top. Galerius's reign was marked by military victories, religious persecution and significant architectural projects. As the curtain rises on the third act of Galerius's life, we find an emperor who is both a warrior and a builder. Galerius was a formidable force on the battlefield, successfully leading campaigns against the Persians and securing the eastern borders of the empire. These victories not only bolstered the empire's defenses, but also enhanced Galerius's reputation as a military leader. Galerius was equally active off the battlefield, particularly in matters of faith. He was a staunch supporter of traditional Roman religion and saw the burgeoning Christian faith as a threat to the empire's unity and strength. 
Under his rule, Christians faced harsh persecution, including the destruction of churches and the prohibition of Christian worship. Galerius's edicts marked one of the most severe periods of religious persecution in the history of the Roman Empire. However, Galerius's reign wasn't solely defined by war and persecution. He was also a patron of architecture, commissioning several grand structures that would leave a lasting imprint on the Roman landscape. The most notable of these is the Arch of Galerius in Thessaloniki, a triumphal monument built to commemorate his victory over the Persians. This architectural marvel, with its intricate carvings depicting scenes of battle and victory, stands as a testament to Galerius's military prowess and his desire to leave a tangible legacy. Galerius's policies, both military and religious, had a profound impact on the empire. His victories strengthened Rome's borders, while his religious persecution revealed deep divisions within the empire's populace. His architectural projects, meanwhile, added to the grandeur of the Roman Empire and continue to captivate us to this day. Galerius, like many rulers, was a complex figure. He was a warrior, a persecutor, a builder, and an indomitable leader. He wielded his power with an iron fist, leaving a legacy that was marked by both glory and strife. Galerius left an indelible mark on the Roman Empire, for better or worse. All reigns must end, and Galerius was no exception. As the 4th century dawned, the very foundations of Galerius' rule began to shake. The last few years of his reign were marked by turbulence, as he grappled with internal strife, external threats, and a debilitating illness. In the prime of his rule, Galerius was a force to be reckoned with, a potentate whose influence rippled through the Roman Empire. However, as time wore on, his health started to falter. He was afflicted by a mysterious disease, one that gradually sapped his strength and vitality. Despite his best efforts to maintain control, his illness took a toll on his ability to govern, and his grip on the empire started to loosen. In 311 CE, Galerius breathed his last, leaving behind a power vacuum that sent shockwaves throughout Rome. His death led to a scramble for power among his successors, plunging the empire into a period of uncertainty and instability. It was an end that seemed far removed from the glory and prestige he had once commanded. Yet even as we reflect on the fall of Galerius, we must not overlook the influence he wielded and the legacy he left behind. His rule, though marred by the tumultuous final years, had a profound impact on the Roman Empire. His political and military strategies shaped the course of the empire, and his policies continued to be felt long after his death. Galerius may have been a controversial figure, with his reign marked by both triumphs and tribulations, but his impact on Rome was undeniable. His story serves as a reminder of the transient nature of power and the indelible mark that leaders can leave behind. Today, as we sift through the sands of time, we find traces of Galerius in the annals of Roman history. From his rise to power to his eventual fall, his story is a testament to the ebb and flow of empires and the leaders who shape them. Even in death, Galerius's influence lived on, shaping the future of the Roman Empire. His reign may have ended, but his legacy continues to echo through the corridors of time. Galerius's legacy is a complex one, marked by both progress and persecution. His reign was a turning point in the history of the Roman Empire, a period of significant change and transformation. Galerius's contributions to the empire were substantial, particularly in the realm of military and administrative reform. He was a shrewd military strategist, known for his successful campaigns against the Persians. His victories not only expanded the boundaries of the empire, but also ensured its security and prosperity. Furthermore, he was instrumental in the implementation of the Tetrarchy, a system of government where power was divided between four rulers. This system was aimed at providing stability and preventing the emergence of a single all-powerful ruler, a problem that had plagued the empire in the past. However, Galerius's rule was not without controversy. He was known for his brutal persecution of Christians, a policy that was at odds with the more tolerant approach of some of his contemporaries. His edicts against Christians, which included the destruction of churches and the execution of believers, marked one of the most severe periods of persecution in the history of Christianity. This aspect of his reign has led to a somewhat mixed assessment of his legacy. In the grand tapestry of history, Galerius's place is a complex one. He is remembered as a capable military leader and a reformer, a man who sought to bring stability and prosperity to an empire in flux. Yet he is also remembered as a persecutor, 
a ruler whose policies caused immense suffering. This paradox is a testament to the multifaceted nature of historical legacy, a reminder that the past is often not as clear-cut as we might like to believe. In conclusion, Galerius was a figure of immense influence, a man whose actions shaped the course of the Roman Empire. His legacy is one of progress and persecution, a legacy that continues to be debated by historians to this day. Galerius, a shepherd boy turned emperor, left a legacy that continues to echo through the annals of history.